Have you looked over your cable TV bill lately? Ouch. Most tri state customers have been hit with another rate hike this year, which Time Warner is blaming on increased programming costs. But consumer reporter John Matteris is on your side with how to knock that bill back down so you don't waste your money. Andrea Smith is a busy mom trying to make ends meet here in her Forest Park home. It was getting harder and harder to justify paying over a hundred dollars a month for SpongeBob. It was about 150, including our internet, and it just they kept adding fees. It kept going up. So she canceled the cable and grabbed a one-year promotion from DirecTV. We are paying 35 a month right now for three TVs. But what if you're more like Tim Bennett of Montgomery? He didn't want to lose ESPN or his internet service and email address, so he didn't want to cut cable completely. It had gotten to, I think it was $105 a month. What do you think of that? I was not happy. But then he figured out a way of lowering his bill, and you can do it too. He first tried asking for a lower rate. That got him nowhere. So he checked deals from DirecTV and Dish Network, then Cincinnati Bell, which had recently brought Fioptics to the area. With several promotional packages in hand, he threatened to leave. It worked. And they ended up pretty much matching the price. He lowered his cable and internet bill from $105 to $90 a month. So I decided to give it a try, since my cable bill had just jumped from $124 to $136. I called Time Warner. I'm looking to see if there's any way to lower my cable bill. I was ready for the first I'm sorry. So I launched my next attack, a competing offer I had found. Uh, 119 a month. It worked. The rep offered me free, faster internet, a $20 a month value. You would upgrade me from basic internet to standard internet. And on top of that, she cut my bill $10 a month. So how to lower your cable bill in less than 10 minutes? Do your homework first. Find promotional deals from your cable company and other providers. Call with specific offers you have found, saying you're thinking of leaving. Finally, ask for the retention department, whose job it is to keep people from canceling. Tim Bennett and I got a price cut. See what deals they have going on and use that as a barter tool to bring down the price you have or switch providers. While Andrea Smith got a whole new deal and her kids, they still get SpongeBob. Gotta love that SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. As for why your bill keeps going up, Time Warner Cable blames soaring programming fees. Time Warner tells Bloomberg News its fees for carrying live sports have almost doubled since 2008. Now on WCPO.com I have more tips for lowering your bill and you can check out my earlier report comparing the different streaming services if you're thinking of going that way and that way you don't waste your money. Carol. All right, good information. And tonight, this is this is important too. You have an important warning about dryer safety. Yes, this is something because there was a fire yeah. yesterday. We all reported you had that yeah. last night at six. Why a tri-state fire yesterday should have everyone checking their clothes dryer today. Plus, any great clearance sales at Radio Shack as the chain prepares to close later today. All right, we'll see you then, John. And